Hi, this is Dan Whedon. I'm a crisis management expert, and today we're going to talk about the responsibilities for the crisis management team. In other words, what are their roles, what are their duties? In many cases, there are many members of a crisis management team, but I'm going to highlight four because these are the four most important and they are usually the ones that can, it doesn't matter what size of a, a business you are, you need to have one of these. The first one is what I call the general. The general is the person who is in charge of the war room. When a crisis happens, you need to have a place to go and somebody to be in command of that room and the team. That does not have to be the business owner or the CEO. It needs to be a person who's in management, but whose skill set says, hey, I can, I can take command of a situation. I can be a leader here. That's the general. You also need a scribe, somebody who is good at taking notes and keeping track of everything that's happening during that crisis so that when you're down the road a little bit and you look back, you know what's happened. The scribe is very important and often overlooked. The next person that's important is someone who's in charge of communications. In most crises, you need somebody who's going to get information out to your employees, to your supply chain, to your investors, to your customers, your prospects, your clients, the media, your community. You get the picture. Somebody needs to be in charge of releasing that information and being a contact person. Finally, you need a voice for your organization. Too many times that voice and the general, they're the same person. They shouldn't be. The person who's in charge, the person who's commandeering the crisis, the general, they're busy doing things and strategizing. The voice is somebody, and in many cases I think the CEO or the business owner, the voice is somebody who is going to get up in front of people in case there's a camera crew that comes or that, that person who's being interviewed. You need to be the face of the organization. So those are four key team member roles for any crisis management team. We're talking about the general who's going to take, to take charge of the war room. We're talking about the scribe, the person who's keeping track of everything that's happening. You need somebody who is a communications coordinator to let, sh to let everybody know what's going on. And then the voice is that voice of reason and the voice of calm through the storm. This has been Dan Whedon. Thanks for joining us.